is accelerating its push to become an aerospace manufacturing hub, with Embraer exploring local production, even as HAL partners Russia's UAC, to build the SJ-100 regional jet. The twin-track strategy diversifies supply chains and boosts self-reliance. While the SJ-100 promises quick gains for UDAN connectivity, Embraer offers proven platforms, technology transfer, and global integration. Together, these moves signal New Delhi's ambition to revive civil aviation manufacturing at scale. New Delhi-based BSS Material Limited has announced a new range of FPV drones built entirely without Chinese components, boosting India's tactical drone self-reliance. The lineup spans light reconnaissance platforms to heavy lift variants carrying up to 10 kilograms, featuring high speed, electronic warfare resistance, and secure control systems. Paired with an advanced ground station, the drones strengthen surveillance, strike and logistics capabilities, reinforcing India's push for secure, indigenous battlefield technologies. DRDO's ARD Pune has initiated the development of a fully indigenous .50 caliber aviation machine gun and pod system for Indian Naval and Coast Guard aircraft. Designed to replace imported weapons, the system will deliver high-rate suppressive fire in harsh maritime conditions. Compatible with helicopters and patrol aircraft, the project closes a critical firepower gap while reducing foreign dependence. Trials are expected within four years, paving the way for rapid indigenous production. India and Russia are edging closer to a possible Panzer S-1M deal, as the Army advances its carrier air defense tracked air defense platform. Envisioned as a common chassis for future systems, carrier air defense promises mobility, modularity, and simplified logistics across demanding terrains. With a 30-kilometer engagement range, missiles and guns, Panzer S-1M offers an immediate layer defense boost. Rising Chinese counter-drone capabilities are adding urgency, pushing India toward a robust, mobile short-range air defense solution. India's maritime ambitions received a major boost as Sagar Defense secured approval to establish the world's first autonomous maritime shipyard in Andhra Pradesh. Designed as a hub for AI-driven design, autonomous manufacturing and real-time testing, the facility will accelerate development of next-generation surface and underwater platforms. By cutting foreign dependence and nurturing advanced maritime skills, the project positions India at the forefront of autonomous naval and commercial shipping technologies. India and Brazil are deepening naval cooperation on their Scorpion submarines, moving beyond logistics into joint modernization and indigenous upgrades. Both navies are exploring open architecture combat systems to integrate homegrown weapons, sensors and torpedoes, reducing reliance on foreign OEMs. Brazil has shown interest in India's combat management system and torpedo programs, while a future torpedo-launched cruise missile adds strategic weight. The partnership signals a strong push for self-reliant undersea warfare capabilities. India's reported move from French Scorpion submarines to German Type 214 subs under Project 75I could trigger major delays and costs. The shift would discard 15 years of hard-earned expertise at Mazagon Dock, force complete retraining, and split the Navy's submarine logistics ecosystem. Experts warn the decision may add years to delivery timelines, inflate costs by thousands of crores, and derail India's long-term submarine and SSN indigenization roadmap. The Indian Navy is set to expand its amphibious and expeditionary reach with the induction of landing platform docks. Designed for joint operations, LPDs will carry troops, vehicles and logistics for sustained shore missions. Using landing craft, helicopters and amphibious vehicles, they enable rapid multi-directional assaults. The Navy is also evaluating a maritime light combat helicopter for shipboard fire support. Together, these platforms will strengthen India's power projection, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief response, and Indo-Pacific presence.
India has strengthened its secure communications ecosystem with IIT Kanpur. Backed RF nanocomposites unveiling indigenous Faraday pouches. Built with advanced nanocomposite materials, the rugged camouflage pouches block cellular, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and RF signals, preventing tracking and data theft. Designed for defense, intelligence, and law enforcement operations, they ensure complete electronic silence in the field. The innovation boosts counter-surveillance capabilities while advancing at Minerva Bharat, in a domain long dominated by foreign suppliers. India's private space race is approaching a historic moment as Skyroot Aerospace prepares Vikram 1 for its maiden orbital launch. With the rocket's first stage already at Sriharikota, an integration in full swing, the company is targeting liftoff within two months. Flying initially at 25% payload capacity, Vikram 1 aims to validate systems and gather critical data. Building on its Vikram S success and backed by its new Infinity campus, Skyroot is poised to become the first private Indian firm to deploy satellites into orbit, marking a major leap for India's commercial launch ecosystem. As India's power grid becomes increasingly digital, cybersecurity has moved to the forefront of national concern. Parliament has sought updates on firewall deployment, audits, and coordination with Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. The annulment of a key firewall tender by PowerGrid has raised alarms among stakeholders. Experts warn that multi-layer defenses, real-time monitoring, and global best practices are essential to protect critical infrastructure and ensure uninterrupted electricity supply. The Dasara Faili is increasingly seen as the frontrunner in India's MRFA competition, offering the Indian Air Force continuity, faster induction, and lower operational risk. With Rafaelis already in service, a government-to-government -government deal could be finalized quickly using established pricing benchmarks. Reports suggest India may consider up to 114 aircraft, potentially including advanced F-4 and future F-5 variants. Combined IAF and Navy orders could enable full-scale manufacturing in India, reinforced by fuselage production, and a Safran M88 engine MRO hub in Hyderabad. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.